Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with Space Engineers Experiment and we are revisiting the hinge hatch doors. Alright, so we are back with experimenting with hinge hatches. Why? Because the last time we were trying to do hinge hatch in space for our space station, it didn't work. And I have a suspicion why. But I wanted to double check and experiment it once again with our hinge hatch doors. So everything is pretty much the same except for with the landing gear or we didn't have magnetic plates at the time. But we set up some hinges to do the same exact thing as we did last time. And that's pretty much a regular hinge system with a merge block, something like this to see if it will merge into the same grid and blocks and everything like that. And we try multiple ones similar to last time. So we have the piston with the hinge. We have the rotor with the hinge. We have a hinge on hinge. And unfortunately, I forgot about this one, but a hinge on a rotor. So it's a little bit opposite of the rotor than hinge to see if they still work. So test number one. Does it still work, especially on a planet such as Earth? So here we go. Our merge block is on. Close the hatch doors. And boom. All right. So we have merge block here. So the hinge on hinge still works fine. The rotor on hinge still doesn't work fine. Our piston on hinge still works fine. And our hinge only doesn't work whatsoever as well. And of course, our hinge on rotor works perfectly fine. And of course, these are airtight also. So if we close the door here, we'll see that it's green. So it's airtight. So the ones that didn't work out is not going to be airtight. This one's set up a little bit different for some reason, but as you see, there's yellow, not airtight whatsoever, not pressurized. And this one was the piston one that works fine. This is the rotor and then the hinge doesn't work. And of course we have our hinge on hinge, which works fine. So is hinge hatch still working? Yes. So that answers that experiment. So I'll see you guys next time. All right, so yes, I was just kidding around, but yes, on Earth, everything still works fine. Hinge hatch doors, perfectly fine. I suspect the issue is mainly because of this. So if we copy and paste our hatch system right here, this is just copy and pasted, add some thrusters, as you see there, only because when we copy and paste it, it's actually a ship. So with it being a ship in space, our hatch doors kind of work the same way. So we put this on, get that locked in. You see it's shifting a little bit, it's moving a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> not, not too crazy, a little bit of a clang there. But you'll see that hinge on hinge, piston on hinge, and hinge on rotor locks in and no problem whatsoever in, it, in space. And of course, we could do the same thing. We could just unlock it, open it, and it works perfectly fine, right? So the moment we decide to go convert to station, that's when we run into issues. So the issue being, let's put the merge block on, close the hash doors, like so. We have the merged in. So the, the ones that always work is working fine. The ones that didn't work or not airtight or locked uh, is still what it is, right? So we're in space. See, that one's airtight right there. There's no ice in there. That's why it's like that. But um, just for an example, so we can unlock our merge blocks or off, turn them off and then open the hinges. The only the ones that didn't merge were able to open. And there's a reason for that. And that's going back to the fact that these, this block, the subgrid, is now become a station. So that's why it's fixed. 
So the moment's merged with the bottom merge block, this thing becomes a fixed station. So, or yeah, converted to a station. So in order to fix this issue, we go into, if we just put a seat there, you can put a like, uh, control panel or whatever. Go to the info, hit convert to ship. And that's going to convert the ship for the subgrid as long as you unmerged it first. So the station itself is still a station. And that one specific merge block subgrid is now a ship. So if I open up the hatch doors again, you see the first one's working, but the, the middle one and the last one's not working because those subgrids are still a station. So that was the problem I was experiencing with building a space station of the time lapse series where I couldn't create a really big hatch door. So that's the quick fix to that. You could just put a control panel as I mentioned before. So if you want to do a control panel, we can do that. You can put any sort of button like system, I think. As long as you can get access um, to the info page. So for an example, here's a control panel. Go click on that, hit info, hit convert to ship. And this one, same thing. You can't make a button out of it, unfortunately. So that's the problem. And you can convert the ship from here. Right? So once we convert them to ship, those subgrid pieces, the hinges, can now open with no problem. But once again, the moment you merge it like so, it's now become a station. So you can't do anything about it. And if you actually just go into any one of them right now with the merge block still merged and convert to ship, everything's become, I think everything becomes a ship now, right? Yeah, everything's become a ship. So it, you're able to reopen it now in that case when you unmerge it. So that's pretty much the fix to that. Another fix would be a script or a mod that might be available. I've tried to look for one. I didn't really find one. I found one called Demerge Blocks, but it didn't seem to work right. So can't really use that as an example. All right, so what are some ways to get the hinge hatch is working in space. So of course, as we saw, converting to station is going to be the biggest problem. And converting to a ship is another problem because if you have to go into control panel, a seed or whatever to un to convert to ship, that's you know an extra step. You have to go in to do it. So there's no automation whatsoever to be had. The other option is to throw it onto an asteroid, much like having it on Earth where it's stuck to the ground. We have a bit of the platform stuck on the asteroid and it is still considered a ship and not a station. So we go to our information. It says station and convert to ship, but you can't even convert it to a ship because it's not possible. It's inside an asteroid. That's the problem with that. You can't convert to station because it's technically a station already, but it's not going to be movable. It's not going to have the same um, characteristics of a station. And I mean that in terms of the merge block. So for whatever reasons, the hinge on hinge and the hinge on rotor seems to be locking fairly well, but the piston on hinge is not. Not too sure why, but it is what it is at this point. But if we unlock our merges and open our hatches, as you see here, it works perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever, right? But the moment we close them and turn on the merge blocks, they're going to close perfectly fine for the hinge and hinge and the hinge with rotor, but not for what reason the hinge and piston system. It's a, it's a little bit wobbly. Oop, I think it actually merged just now. Yep. So it took some time for it to vibrate and kind of get into its place. But that's kind of the only way you could do it in space. Other than constantly messing around with converting station to a ship on the subgrid. So this is an option. 
where you build a base off an asteroid and make an uh, make a hinge hatch door. Um, you can't really do it with a space station that's not attached to the ha asteroid or any voxel. If you want to go crazy and creative with it, technically, all you really need to do is put a voxel, <laughs> uh, a little, even a little tiny little voxel, such as that. And you might actually be able to copy it and throw it on top of it. So if I can just put it on top of it like that, if it lets me. So right there's a spec and I'm going to probably bring this back just a bit right there. So it is currently sitting in a voxel. So I don't think we can move this as a ship anymore. Yeah, it looks like we can't. And it's not a station. It's not a ship. It's just stuck in a voxel. So that's another way to kind of do it. It's a cheesy way to do it. But it works. So unmerge, open our hatches. Right? Turn our merge on, close our hatches. And that works. Perfectly fine. All three of them. The hinge on hinge, pissed on a hinge, and hinge on rotor. As you see here. So all you gotta really do is kind of throw in a little bit of a voxel that's permanent and that way it'll convert it, not necessarily a ship, but also not necessarily a station. And that's how you're going to get your hinge hatches to work in space. So of course you have to have the voxel in order to start building it. So basically what I would do if you were to make a space station and wanted to do a hinge hatch door, just throw in a quick little voxel like that and just build a cube on top of it if you can that's actually pretty interesting it's not letting me place one okay now it just let, let me place one so that's a fixed one in the voxel so for whatever reason sometimes it just bounced me out of it which is a little bit weird but it did do that so with a battery yeah so you can't even convert the ship because it's stuck on a voxel that's a fixed space station without running into a station that's the other way to make it really work. So any other ideas? Let me know down below. For what are reasons hinges love causing clang? So if we turn this whole entire sy system into a ship and unmerged everything, put the merge block back on and then closed it, you're going to see something pretty fantastic here. <laughs> And well, not when you close it, but when you open it after it's settled down, like say middle, first, middle, and last is merged. Now I'm going to reverse the hinges with it still being merged in. And this again, this is a ship. When three, two, one, <laughs> you'll see that we are going pretty quick. So that's a little bit of a clang drive for you guys as well if you like to play with hinges and a clang drive. So you could keep, I think, toggling it on and off to get a pretty decent speed. Uh, I think as well, if you did max velocity and hit reverse, you'll hit close to 100 meters per second in that way too. So it's a bit of a clang drive and you can like repeat it as I mentioned before. If you just keep opening, closing, open and closing, you can pick up quite the speed in terms of clang drive. So that was another fun aspect out of it after experimenting to see what is the fix for the hinge hatch doors in space when you have a converted ship or a converted to a station. So that's the experiment. Not too crazy today. So Rover Evolution, sorry, I took a little bit of a break on that. Uh, we'll get that back as soon as possible. But of course, leave that thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.